Yeah, quite a bit of snow on the way overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow up in the Cascades. Here's Timberline. Boy, the cameras is getting snowed over super quickly and you can see the snows in the air once again. I don't know why I just thought of the shining. Remember the movie they filmed the they use the outdoor outdoor shots at Timberline Lodge. How does that look right now? 25 degrees, four inches of new snow today. That of course is on top of the 25 inches of new snow they had yesterday. Doppler radar showing the rain over the valley. It's going to break up. It's breaking up a little bit right now, so we'll be in shower mode. Some of them are still heavy out in Washington County, but they're decreasing. And then up in the Cascades, it is still snowing as we saw from Timberline and as we can see on Doppler radar. So it just keeps on coming as it will do in the Cascades. There is a winter weather advisory for tonight in the gorge, but then there's a winter storm warning that takes over right after the winter weather advisory and so we go from a winter weather advisory to a winter storm warning, which is more severe than the advisory in the gorge for tomorrow night. But I think things will begin to warm up later tomorrow night into Thursday and you'll go to all rain eventually in the gorge. But in the Cascades, winter storm warnings from the Canadian border down to California as the snow keeps on flying. And this is great news for our snowpack. It's exactly what we need after the very dry, hot summer that we had and the drought that is plaguing much of the western United States. All of our mountain range, most of them anyway, getting really good snowfall in the last couple of weeks. Still have a bit of an easterly drift at Troutdale, but notice Crown Point winds have got a bit squirrely south at 13. Don't see that that often at Crown Point. And then south winds taking over in the valley as we see this next storm or the current storm kind of move on through. The south winds will increase tomorrow night ahead of the next storm. That one has more of a typical valley rain, mountain snow signature to it, and the snow level actually goes up above the passes for the first time in a while. So all that snow is going to get really heavy. So if you are in government camp, Hood River, Parkdale, and you got snow you need to move, the sooner you do it, the easier it will be because that snow as it begins to absorb more water will become heavier. The water today, <clears throat> about a tenth of an inch at the Portland Airport. Remember, we had about two inches downtown yesterday. It was amazing. Half an inch up at Quileute. So not as much as what we've seen lately, but tomorrow light rain in the morning. Then rain by midday and then heavy rain in the afternoon. Temperatures all staying above freezing, but it is going to be a very wet day with the rain picking up. Sunset now at 442. The sunsets are getting later now that we're into January here. That's been happening actually since early December. So on uh, the satellite imagery, one storm is a little bit nondescript, but it is moving through southern, central Oregon right now from the west to the east. The next one out here, that one is a lot stronger. That brings the heavier rain in is going to Wednesday night and Thursday. Notice the snow disappears in the Cascades from the model. It'll still be snowing the higher reaches of the mountains there, but then it comes back on Friday as cooler air returns and we'll get some dry weather Sunday, Monday. And in fact, I think we're going to see a shift from this really stormy pattern after Friday. We start to see high pressure build here in the west and it has some staying power. Looks like it'll hang around through the better part of next week. We'll see exactly how that plays out, but I don't think it's going to be as dramatic weather next week as it has been the last couple weeks. We hit 46 in Portland today outside right now. We're at 42 and we'll stay above freezing overnight tonight on the Oregon coast. See the winds come up to 40 miles an hour late tomorrow with that next storm, so it's going to get breezy and the rain will be increasing throughout the day in the valleys. Increasing rain tomorrow as well. Highs and lows both in the 40s for the Cascades. Here we go, 10 to 20 inches of new snow there. Snow level will rise to 4,000 feet tomorrow, but then go up to 6,000 feet on Thursday. In central and eastern Oregon, it's a mix in the valleys, 1,500 feet for your snow level, but all snow up in the mountains and in the gorge, two to six inches of snow, and then freezing rain to rain, I think, late in the day tomorrow. It should begin to melt out once again. For Portland, showers tonight decreasing and then rain increasing tomorrow as we keep it wet. 44 tomorrow as we go into the rest of the seven day uh, forecast here showers Friday begins to break up Saturday. There are those two really great days on Sunday and Monday.